This is Mark with Aardvark Reloading. We've closed down our brass company, but I've had a lot of questions regarding our brass order and how it works. I made this video to answer those questions. This is Mark with Phil Wilson, and we're going to put uh, various calibers in a 5-gallon bucket. I've got some 45s here. Okay, I'm going to create these. 380s, okay. More 38s. 38 specials. Right. More 38 specials. Okay. These are 9 Lugers. Okay. More 9. Clean your polish. Okay, these are 223s. Two, two, 3 British, 270 win, and. 455 Mark II, 6.5 by 5.5, 5, that's a pretty good random sample. There's so rifle rounds into this bucket. Okay. And these are some 22 LRs and uh, scrap, uh, I think those are 22 uh, mags. Uh, go ahead and throw those in the bucket too. Pull the drawer out. And then, then the drawers slide back in, or the buckets slide back in. It all starts here with the 3D printed grates. I didn't want to pay anybody for the uh, that to make a grate of this dimension, so I happen to order uh, own a 3D printer. So I printed these grates out, and it will allow the 22 LRs to fall through along with the dirt. And then this area here allows the dirt to fall through, but the 22 LRs get hung up so they can be scrapped as... I happen to reload 22 LRs, but I'm a rare breed. Okay, what's happening in this area? Okay, these brushes here in this arrangement uh, float back and forth. Their object is to slow things down and straighten them out so that things will drop down into the channels correctly. Same with this brush. Right, this is the start of everything, but this slides down so that you can get at the grease fittings here and here. There's two more down at the other end. These bearings are adjustable this way so that you can recalibrate the dimension in here if you want to. And the tray is set up where it's up in position. It should be right about here. So that the first drop for the real small stuff is, is right in this corner here it goes down into a can directly underneath okay this is a variable speed motor uh, it can be adjusted to go uh, of course faster or slower but we found the medium speed is about right for sorting brass if you go too fast you lose accuracy but if you go too slow uh, you lose production so we found a medium setting to be best. Okay. So the 22 LRs fall through the first grate. That will keep them from piggybacking on top of each other.
there they're going to go through a series of shoots. Perfect example, we have the uh, 25 caliber here. And what comes out should be sorted brass. Okay, let's take a look at the 223s. Okay, let's remove a couple of those buckets and inspect them. Some of these calibers will, will drop in the same bucket, of course, but it's relatively easily uh, separated uh, pistol from most rifle. The 9mm bucket, uh, where we had a few exceptions without calibrating the machine, uh, we had a 38, a 380, excuse me, and two 223s come out along with a, what is that, a 32. 38 special bucket. This is the uh, 45 bucket where we're going to find most of the 45 ACPs and the uh, 245s. One hot ball. This next bucket had a mixture of pistol and rifle rounds, and this had a 455 MK2s and the British 303s. Yep, this next bucket has a uh, mixture of pistol and rifle, being the uh, 380 and 223. Uh, 556 and uh, 300 blackout. 